Hi everybody, it is Angela. It is a love coach of Rochester. I am here tonight and all over. Let me just make that clear. To my people that are all over the world, thank you so much for writing in. Thank you for hitting that tip jar. Let me just start off by saying that. My day has been beautiful. I hope you are having a good day too. Tonight, this is for my male viewers. Tonight, this is for my men all over the world this one's for you tonight thank you for writing in if it wasn't for you writing in i wouldn't be able to do this episode tonight so i want to apologize to everybody for it coming out late it was supposed to come out at 9 30 but things are so busy right now that this is how it got aired so i hope you enjoy and you know, you can always reach me at 585-296-1334. That's just a regular number. You can reach me at day or night. No question is silly. So let's bring this phone in closer because I want my male viewers to understand that it is not okay to call a woman a bitch. It is not okay Especially if she's the woman you love. If you tell her you love her and you tell her that every day and then you're going to turn around and get mad at her and call her a bitch, you have no respect for her. Stop lying to yourself. Why do you want to hurt the woman you love? I'm just not understanding that. But I'm doing this segment for you tonight because I know you need answers and I know you need advice. So I'm doing this for you tonight. Tonight's episode is, and look, your girl's ready. She's got her notes. I took time doing this for you tonight because I want the men to understand that the grass isn't greener on the other side. So if she left you, I'm sure she had a good reason. I'm sure she gave you chances, and I'm sure that you weren't very kind to her. So let's get into it, Rochester and all over. So... I just wanted to talk to you, you know, face to face, up close, so you guys know what's going on. This is about you. This is for you tonight. So, and at the end of this conversation, if I forget, do not reach out to the woman you love. I will tell you what to do. I will give you the steps. I will give you the guidance. I will give you the self-esteem. I will give you everything back that puts the ball in motion for you, that helps you get back the woman you love. I am Angela Speranza. I am the love coach of Rochester and I do want to see you happy and I do want to see you in love and I will help you set that apology so she comes back to you. I promise. My viewers know I only make promises if I can keep them. So let's get into it. We're about to talk about it. Now men, if you are offended, fuck your feelings. You weren't thinking about her feelings, were you? No, the fuck you weren't. When you were giving your number out, when you were texting, when you were talking to other fish behind her back, that is cheating, especially if you're doing it to a coworker. If you are talking to somebody at your job and she don't know about it, how dare you call her a fucking bitch? What the fuck you calling her a bitch for? Like, really? Like, you're the fucking bitch. You're the fucking hoe. You're just mad because she caught your ass and brought it to your attention. I see why she fucking left you. Must be 18 years of age. Get somebody's consent. It is going down tonight. Just to clear my conscience. Fuck your feelings tonight. That's the way it's going. Let me get back into it because I don't want to curse you out just yet. I want to let you know how it is first before I ever do that to you. Stop trying to convince yourself that it is her fault. Stop trying to convince yourself that she's the reason why you started talking to somebody from your job. That she's the reason why... You started giving your number out. That she's the reason why you want to look elsewhere. You had time to talk to her. This woman said good morning to you. This woman said good night to you. This woman cooked your meals. This woman did your laundry. This woman was there for you when no one else was. This woman had your back. This woman stuck by your fucking side while you called her a fucking bitch. And then you have the audacity to, to cry me a river. Like, really? Really, bro? 
Okay. Let go of your anger. That is the first thing you need to do. Your anger is what she remembers. The last things you said to her is what she remembers. We need to fix that. We need to change that. We need to make it so it's okay for her to text you back. We need to make it so it's okay to respond to your phone call. We need to make her feel safe again. If she came to you and you never wanted to communicate with her, you you told her you don't want to talk about it or shut the fuck up or you're trying to watch something or you're trying to do something, you need to send her a text message and you need to apologize. You need to use the words, I am sorry. I am sorry that I hurt you. I am sorry for all the terrible things that I did to you. I am sorry that I broke your heart. I am sorry that I cheated on you. I am sorry that I put other people before you. She needs to know that you mean it. She needs to feel it. She needs to know that that is the only reason why you were texting her phone. You're not going to leave that on a voicemail. That's what you're never, ever going to do. You're not going to say, oh, I miss you. I love you. Oh, I want your back. You're not going to say any of that from this day forth in any text messages. You're not going to do that at all. You're going to text her phone, if not today, if not tomorrow. Do it at a decent time where if you remember where she's awake or she's not too busy, that's when you want to send that text message, just when she least expects it. And you're going to tell her, I am sorry for hurting you. I hope someday you can forgive me. I am sorry from the bottom of my heart hope all is well with you. That's it. That's all you're going to say. You're not going to say nothing else. If you are having a hard time comprehending what I just said, rewind that and play it again until you get it right. If you're not sure how to send that text, I will help you. 585-296-1334. I am always here for you. I want to see you happy. Understand that. I know you have feelings too. And I know you feel bad. And I know you messed up. And I know you want her back. And you can have her back. You can fix things. There is hope. I'm your hope. You need to start to lean back and let her come to you. You need to let her miss you. You need to let her put all the negative drama, all the negative talking, all the negative he say, she say, whatever happened, you need to let that go starting today or your heart's not going to heal and neither is her heart. see what else we have after you send that text message this is very very important your text message should not ever be more than five sentences if you are typing more than five sentences you are doing it wrong and you are doing too much and it's gonna backfire and she's not gonna respond do it the way the advice that I gave you After you send that text message, it is very important that you do not respond to any of her friends, any of her relatives, aunts, uncles, cousins, her mom, nieces, nephew. If you are friends with them on Facebook, do not talk about her to them. If, you, if they are friends with her on Twitter, don't hit like, don't stalk her, don't let her see that you are watching her because she's waiting for you to mess up again because she feels that she made a good choice walking away. She walked away from you because you're not treating her good. She walked away from you because you're not showing her love and affection and attention and you're not being the man and the strong guy that she needs you to be. Where'd that man go? What happened? Did you start hanging out with the wrong crowd? Did you start partying? Did you start doing something that she didn't like? There's ways where you can be 50-50 where you can fix that. 
I am Angela Spranz, and I am the Love Coach of Rochester, and I will help you get that 50-50. I can help you do that. I can have it so she responds to you back. I can have it where she calls you back. All you have to do is take my advice and listen to me, and I will help you get back that spark, the woman you love. When you go silent on her, make it count. She's going to get your text message. She's going to respond. I don't know when it's going to be, though, because at the end of the day, you got to remember you're dealing with a woman. And if you hurt her, she's hurting. She's not over it. And she will never forget. But she can forgive. And if there's love still there, I promise you, she will forgive you. And you will have the woman you love back in your arms see what else I wrote down for my male viewers tonight. I hope everyone is practicing being safe. I hope everyone is having a good time. I am. What are all these lights going down on my street? Oh my goodness. Car Chronicles. We see everything. So after you send that nice text message, be sincere. Mean it. If you don't want her back, don't text her. If you don't love her, don't call her on the phone. If you don't want to be with her, do not lead her on. Don't send anything. I will show you and I will help you how to get on with your life. I will help you get that self-esteem back. I will help you be that strong man that is laying in there that just needs to come out not everything is your fault. Understand that. When she fell in love with you, she fell in love with this man that swept her off her feet. He's there. And you just have to learn how to bring it back out. You need to create value. You need to create that spark. And that spark is there. I will help you. When you set boundaries, you are making it known that this is the way it's going to be. If you're not going to respect me and respect what I'm saying, then there's nothing. If you don't have communication with the woman that you love, you have nothing. You have no relationship. You're just wasting your time. What you can do is you can start to better yourself while you're waiting to hear from her, while you're waiting if she's gonna respond. It might take 24 hours, it might take 10 minutes, it might take two weeks, it might take a month, it might take two months. Be prepared to wait because it's a waiting game. Now remember, when you send that message, she's gonna get it. The reason why a woman is going to take long to respond to you is because she needs space and she needs time to forgive the situation that you put her through. She's been dealing with this by herself for so long. If she's talking to somebody else, you can't get mad at that. If she's dating somebody else, you can't interfere with that because you will push her into the arms of this rebound and she will stay there just to despise you even if she likes him or not. She will use him and then when she's done with him, she will go on to the next one. Let's see what I have. I write everything down because it helps me to study better and I get to address the important things that need to be said. So you need to fix your priorities. You need to stop telling her what she did wrong, what she's doing to you. You need to stop blaming her. You need to stop making yourself be innocent because you're not. The reason why you guys are broken up is because of you. Don't forget that. 
if she's talking to somebody else, that's because of you. She needs to move on. She needs to better herself, just like you need to. Stop playing games with her. Stop breaking her heart. Stop ruining what you have built. If you put time in with this girl and you love her as much as you say you do, why do you keep doing this? Like, you need to stop. You need to look in the mirror and you need to ask yourself who really is to blame, whose fault it really is. I'm just telling you the way it is. I'm going to let you know this is why she's not talking to you. You need to fix yourself. You need to better yourself. She needs to see what she's losing. She needs to see what is there. A woman will move past what you did to her if she has time and space. Now, if you cheated on her, you know you need to apologize. You know it's all your fault. You can't get mad at her for anything she does if you cheated on her and then she left you after the fact. That's because you dumped her. That's because you didn't want to be with her. She didn't want to break up with you. She didn't want it to be over with. She wasn't prepared for any of the bullshit that you fucking put her through. Yeah, I'm mad because you're coming to me asking me for my help and yet you're not owning up to anything you did to her. Make sure when she decides to meet you and she reaches out, you let her know that it is your fault. Do not blame her for nothing when you have her face to face. Because if you do, I hope she walks away from you. I hope she leaves you and never talks to you again. Because that means that everything that you said and did, you're still playing games and you did it on purpose. For what? What are you gaining out of it? You better see a doctor. If you start putting her first, that will create value. If you change your appearance, get a haircut. I don't know if you have a brush cut, braids. I don't know your nationality. But what I do know is that you need to fix your appearance because she lost attraction in you. That's why she's talking to another man because she's not sexually attracted to you. Um, get a new wardrobe, get some new sneakers, start working out. Um, post sexy pictures of yourself. Don't talk about her though to anybody from this day forth because it will get back to her. You need to apologize for every single thing you did. I know you can't stand hearing that, but when you apologize to a woman and you're sincere and she feels that, all is forgiven. And after you watch this video and you are still hurting and you are having a hard time dealing with things, I am Angela Speranza. I am the love coach of Rochester and I am here for you and I will help you and I do want to see you happy. And if I could make that happen for you, I will. I just need you to think about how you treat a woman. Think about what you want to say to her. Know that that love is still there. If you just recently broke up and it's fresh and it's been less than three months, there's a chance that she'll take you back. Yeah, positive. And true love always wins in the end.